Terrell. Thirty on your side is Jamal Spencer and Michael Seth. They join us now live from Des Moines, Iowa with a look at all the action. Hey there, guys. Well, we saw two games yesterday. One went a little bit unexpected. The other one went exactly as expected. We'll start with Michigan. Mm -hmm. Beating Montana yesterday, first of all, your thoughts and impressions on that one. I thought that first half showed you the Michigan team that's been waiting to explode for much of the last two weeks. Defensively, they were on point. Offensively, I think that they were kind of boosted by the return of, of Charles Matthews. Absolutely. Charles scored 22 points. You mentioned the defense. Afterwards, some strong words from Iggy Brasdakis. The freshman believes the team is playing some championship caliber defense. Yeah, 100%. I feel like we're, we're a championship caliber team, and our defense is definitely up uh, with the top teams in the nation. And I feel like if we play defense like that in that intensity, we're all connected, and I feel like we can win this whole thing. Some strong words from the freshman. Number one, do you think he's right? Number two, is he the guy that should be saying that right now? He's definitely not the guy that should be saying that. That was his first career NCAA tournament game. And while the Michigan Wolverines have the second best defense in the country, second best scoring defense, I think you might want to pump the brakes on the championship talk. But I love his confidence. Absolutely. Most definitely. As for Michigan State, they were able to slide by the Bradley Braves after a very close game in the second half. Cassius Winston made a lot of plays, but there was a moment caught on camera where Michigan State head coach Tom Izzo was screaming in the face of freshman forward Aaron Henry. Now, some people felt that that was distasteful. Henry and Izzo don't see it that way, and the coach says he was making sure all of his players know that they are accountable for their actions. You, you can't be a, a freshman at this time of year. you got to become a sophomore. And, and uh, the only thing that bothers me is when guys – Guys make mistakes, that's fine. If they're effort-related mistakes, they're going to be held accountable. And that was all. He's been coming after me all year. Not that I'm just shrugging him off, but just taking what he's saying and applying it. You know, he's going to yell, he's going to gripe, he's going he's to do all that stuff to me, man. But it's okay, because he, he understands that, that I'm a freshman. I'm, I'm going to get that, and, you know, he wants the best for me. So, I mean, that's all right. I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? It was a point where if he played back early, he would have shut down, and we lost him for the whole game. Uh, you know, he's going to keep, get, keep getting better, his confidence growing. And now he's making big plays down the stretch and things like that, even though after a poor start. Now, Mike, in the locker room, Aaron Henry didn't seem to be bothered at all by those comments. It seemed that he took them pretty well. No, and he said this is part of the course with Tom Izzo. You know you're going to get yelled at. I like what both guys said, Izzo especially. It's about accountability. That's what it's about right now. And if anyone has played sports, at some point in time, a coach is going to get in your face and try to motivate you. And that's exactly what Tom Izzo did. And it seemed like the rest of the team wasn't bothered by it either. As you said, that's who the Hall of Fame coach seems to be. Well, we'll have more from Des Moines coming up here later on today at 5 and 6 o'clock. I'm Jamal Spencer. He's Mike Lissette at the NCAA Tournament in Des Moines, Iowa.